Today, we get a first look at the new Wahoo Kicker Snap Smart Trainer. Last week, Wahoo announced a slight refresh to the Kicker Snap Wheel On Smart Trainer that you see up here with a few refinements from the older model. Today, I've got both of the units here. We'll side by side and go over the subtle changes they've made. So a refresher for those just new to the indoor cycling scene, an interactive smart trainer will hold the watts for you in workout mode. So if it tells you to do 300 watts, you have to do 300 watts and it can provide simulation mode as well. So on things like Zwift, you come up to a hill, it gets harder, you go down a hill, it gets easier. An interactive smart trainer, such as the Kicker Snap, will provide you a virtual riding experience indoors. So like the refresh last year that we saw with the Kicker Direct Drive unit, which was the Kicker 16, wasn't quite a Kicker 2. The naming scheme was the same for the new Snap. It's just called the new Snap. Codename Snap 17, because it's out 2017. So the three minor refinements, plus a bonus that I'll show you in a second, are the power accuracy is now plus or minus 3% from 5% with the uh, original Snap. More comprehensive third-party power meter support. Now I use power match in Zwift using an external power meter to set the watts and the trainer becomes the smart resistance unit. Same goes for trainer road. So I'm not quite sure the feature of this, what use I'd have of it. However, let's just tick a box. It's a new feature that it has. And the lights, the older unit had the lights internal to the system so you could see that it was turned on and flashing now the lights are on the back and you can see what's going on now the bonus round the extra feature that i didn't know this one had the roller texture so over here on the original kicker snap there's a smooth roller and switching over here to the snap 17 the roller here has a slight texture to it it's not rough but it's not shiny so this may provide a little bit more grip for the tire and another feature that I do like about both Snap units, the original and the Snap 17, is the pivoting rear clamps. If you're like me and you put the front wheel up or down, depending on what workout you're doing, or it bounces around a little bit on the front, you're not going to wear out your rear dropouts. And that can be an issue if you do a lot of work indoors and you're moving around quite a bit. But this takes care of it with the pivoting clamps at the back. The unboxing and building, again, simple process. I'll link below to my original video of that. The specifications, very, very much the same. So with the power accuracy being 3% on the new unit, you have a maximum incline of 12%, so when the hills kick in, they really kick in. Maximum power of 1500 watts, so more power than most of us will ever need indoors. And compatibility with all the wheel sizes. I'll put the specs linked below. Um, also, people have asked about compatibility with through axles. I have the through axle adapter kit for the kicker snap. This is the 142 adapter quick start guide, so 142 by 12. And it comes with these through axles here. I just need a bike with the through axle so I can show you guys how to use this work in progress. I'll be back with the video on those soon. Everything else remains the same. The general ride feel. I rode last night with the Australian Hump Day ride, which is 40 minutes just riding along and then a last lap burst mode, flat out. The unit was fine, really good and super impressed with it. Current prices stay the same for the Kicker Snap, 17. So US $600, 500 pounds and 750 Aussie dollars. That's a pretty good buy. If you're looking at an interactive smart trainer and don't want to jump in the deep end with a direct drive unit. So there we have it, a first look at the refinements of the new Snap 17 from Wahoo Fitness. If you've got an original unit, nothing to get too jealous about. But if you're buying new, you gotta get the new one anyway. So a little bit better with a few refinements. Time for me to jump on and do some llama testing on this. It's raining outside. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.